Good morning, gang. And uh, happy Easter Sunday, Saturday. Nobody knows to that. Nobody's got a clue what day it is anymore. Uh, hope you're kicking back with some chocolate eggs, a cup of tea, proper room, proper room drink tea, you know, not coffee. None of this, none of this freshly roasted bullshit. It's all about the coffee on a morning to wake you up but to refresh yourself afterwards. Nice cup of tea, that's what you want. Anyway, so we're out and about today, just down Pompern Woods. Lovely, lovely area. Uh, area of outstanding national beauty, I'd have said. Uh, if we're lucky, there might still be some leftover hippies protesting against the pit. It's been shut for a couple of months. They're not, they're not the quickest, these hippies down here. You know, they might still be here. Uh, if they are, we'll get a little interview. But yeah, enjoy the run. Still plenty of trees down there, isn't there? Yeah. Storm Eunice, still doing your job. Aye. Anyway, so we're now training for the Durham Dales run. Thanks very much for the recommendations down in the comments last time. Signed up for that, which is about 10 weeks away now. So marathon, marathon training begins again. Nice little 10 week block. Um, in the meantime though, we've got legs one and two of the Bob Graham round coming up next weekend so that should be a good laugh going down with a gang, gang of folk to uh, do legs one and two from Keswick down to Dunmal, Dunmail depending on who you speak to so yeah, so that's the plans for what you're going to see on here over the next couple of weeks oh, uh, so yeah well done uh, everyone who did uh, Greener Miles Backyard Ult yesterday. Looked fantastic. Um, let's have a little comment. How did it go for you? There's no down there. Definitely one for the for the um, calendar next year. I should have really should have really done it this year. The weather was beautiful for you. Absolutely beautiful. And some fantastic mileage uh, done. So yeah. Good stuff. Glad you all enjoyed it, like. So we're just, uh, we're still in Pompern, and um, we're nearly, I think, pretty much at the lowest point in the woods, um, coming down to it anyway, near the Pompern Stones, and then we're about to head up a nice hill all the way to Pompern Pike. Uh, I'm in a little Strava group with a few people who follow this vlog, uh, and it is how many times can you ascend the height, the, the height of Pontnock Pike in a year? So, I think this might be the first time that I've actually gone up Pontnock Pike this year. But we'll get a little picture of the trig and uh, see where we're at on the leaderboard when we get back. Well, ended up here, happy Sunday, five miles to get here, and it's worth it, you know, really is worth it up on a bike. Just check out these views. Absolutely no view whatsoever. 
Yeah. If you squint really hard through that fence, you can see fuck all. Well, by far and away, the least views from a trig on the pike. Well then gang, I think that's us done for the day. Me back to the house, nine and a half miles, over a thousand foot of climbing in for a Sunday, or a Saturday, or a Monday, whatever it is. Uh, happy Easter, see you all in the next video over on the Bob Graham round. Have a lush week, catch you soon.